Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have used a duvet cover that was part of a free bundle of bedding I got to make a half circle skirt. These skirts are very similar to circle skirts but they use half the amount of material. They are always in fashion and a great item to have in your wardrobe. The one I am making today has a zip and I'll also be showing you how to attach one. So let's get into it. First I cut along all the seams of the duvet cover so I had two separate pieces of fabric. To make this skirt, I needed to make a pattern. To do this, I needed to take some measurements. First, I took my waist measurement. This was 30 inches. The pattern for this skirt needed two measurements, an inner circle measurement and an outer circle measurement. I am starting with the inner circle. For this, I needed my waist measurement of 30 inches. I then divided this by pi, which is 3.14. This gave me 9.55. This is my inner circle measurement. To draw out my pattern, I use baking paper, but any paper is fine. Starting from the top corner, I measured 9.55 inches out at different angles and marked this. I then connected these points with a curved line. This is how it looked. This was my inner circle done. Next, I needed my outer circle measurement. For this, I decided how long I wanted my skirt to be. I decided on 19 inches. From this, I subtracted 3 inches, as this will be the width of the waistband I'll make separately later. I now had 16 inches. I added my inner circle measurement to this of 9.55, which gave me 25.55. I then added roughly half an inch for hem allowance, which gave me 26 inches. This was my outer circle measurement. Again, starting from the top corner, I measured 26 inches out at different angles and marked this. I then connected these points with a curved line. This was my outer circle done. I then cut along both these curved lines. This was my pattern piece complete. Taking one side of the duvet cover, I folded this in half, right sides together and cut along the top edge, giving me a straight edge to work with. Then, taking my pattern piece, I placed this so one of the straight edges lined up with the folded edge of my fabric and pinned this in place. I did this to stop my fabric moving around while I cut it. I then cut around my pattern piece. This is how it looked. This was my skirt piece. Next, I needed a piece of fabric for my waistband. I measured and marked a piece of fabric that was 33 inches long and 6 inches wide. I added 3 inches to the length for seam allowance, and as this would be folded in half, my waistband will be 3 inches wide. I then cut along the line I had drawn. This was my waistband piece. I decided to add a lining to my skirt as the fabric I was using was quite thin. Using my pattern, I cut out another skirt piece from a plain white fabric. I also cut out a piece that was the same as my waistband piece. Taking my waistband piece, I placed this so the wrong side of the fabric was facing up. I then placed my lining piece onto this with the wrong side of the fabric facing down. I then pinned these two pieces together along the long edges. Once I'd done that, I sewed where I'd pinned. 
Moving on to my skirt piece. I placed my skirt piece with the wrong side facing up and the lining piece onto this with the wrong side facing down. I then pinned along the top edge. I then sewed where I'd pinned. This is how they looked. I could now attach the waistband piece to the skirt piece. With the two pieces right sides together and the bottom edge of the waistband lined up with the curved top edge of the skirt, I pinned the waistband in place. Once it was pinned in place, I sewed where I'd pinned. This is how it looked. Next, with the wrong side of the skirt facing up, I folded the waistband in half and made sure the bottom of the waistband lined up with the top edge of the skirt. I pinned this in place all the way along the skirt. I then sewed where I'd pinned. This is how the skirt looked so far. Then I folded the skirt in half, right sides together and pinned along the open edge. Taking my zip, I placed this next to the open edge, making sure the top of the zip lined up with the top of the skirt and marked just above the end of the zip. From the mark I had made down to the bottom of the skirt, I used the stitch I usually use for sewing. From the mark up to the top of the skirt, I used basting stitches. These are long stitches that I use to temporarily hold fabric together. Here you can see the difference between the basting stitches and the regular stitches. Once it was sewn, I had something that looked like this. I ironed along the seam to hold this fold open. Next, taking my zip, I placed it facing down so the teeth were against the seam. I also made sure that the top of the zip was level with the top of the skirt. I then pinned the zip in place and sewed it on like this. I changed the foot on my sewing machine to a zipper foot. This will make it easier to attach zips to fabric. If you don't have a zipper foot, a regular sewing foot will be fine. Once I'd sewn the zip in place, I turned my skirt inside out so it was now the right way round and cut through the basting stitches I had sewn earlier. I used a seam ripper to do this, but scissors are fine. This was my finished zip. The final thing I needed to do was hem the bottom of the skirt. With the skirt inside out, I folded the bottom edge up half an inch and pinned this in place. I did this all the way around the bottom of the skirt. I then sewed where I'd pinned. Once I'd sewn the hem, the skirt was complete and this is how it looked. I really liked how the finished skirt looked. This was quite easy to make and as it started as a duvet cover, I'll definitely be making more for my summer wardrobe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.